फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट टूडे ऑलमोस्ट एवरी इशू फ्रॉम दोज कंसर्निंग कोर नेशनल वैल्यूज टू इशूज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट इट्स सब्जेक्ट टू द ग्राइंड ऑफ कंटेंशियस पॉलिटिक्स इट इज इशेंशियल दैट द पोलिटिकल पार्टीज एंड अदर्स एसोसिएटेड विद द गवर्नेंस प्रोसेस एंड द डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटीज ग्रो अबव पार्टीजन पोलिटिक्स एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द विलिंगनेस एज ऑल्सो द सिंसियरिटी टू ड्रो अप एंड इम्प्लीमेंट स्कीम्स विद वेल चोजन प्रायोरिटीज एंड डिवाइज अ न्यू नेशनल अप्रोच इन द लार्जर इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल इशूज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट इन विच द कॉमन पीपल हैव द ग्रेटेस्ट स्टेक कैन नॉट बी सब्जेक्टेड टू पोलिटिकल मसल फ्लैक्सिंग विदाउट केयरिंग फॉर देयर डिस्ट्रक्टिव इफेक्ट ऑन द पीपल मैटर्स ऑफ वाइटल नेशनल इंटरेस्ट शुड नॉट बी मेड अ कैजुअलिटी ऑफ पार्टीजान रिक्रिमिनेटरी एंड डिस्ट्रक्टिव पॉलिटिक्स वी आर गोइंग थ्रू अ फेज वैन द रिसिलियंस एंड adaptability of our democratic institutions are stretched too far the people had great expectations from a free india but in many ways their hopes and expectations have been belied by the opportunistic and wayward ways of those associated with politics and governance in the country a time has come therefore when all sections of the people have to consider very seriously how a country like ours with its great heritage and civilization with the magnificent history of its freedom struggle and also with the great talent of the young people with constructive efforts of the working class including farmers peasants and common people should come out of the present infirmities in the system so that the country as a whole can achieve all round development at a faster pace politics and politicians can not be expected to earn respectability unless politics is firmly wedded to some basic values and some fundamental principles this can come about only with the firm resolve of the nation the nation as a whole must be united in this struggle to bring values to the center stage of our public life today what we need is a movement across this vast nation to build up public opinion against many of the maladies that afflict our politics contributing to public apathy towards politics and democratic processes as such this can be meaningfully achieved only if committed and conscientious people particularly the youth come into the arena of politics and clean the system from within i firmly believe that the community of lawyers can play a vital role in this regard by participating in the process of democratic consolidation the price we pay for political indifference is bad governance which affects almost every aspect of our life we cannot expect to get good governance from bad politics therefore making politics ethically sound is one of the most pressing needs of our times in a parliamentary democracy the obligations of constitutional morality are expected to be equally binding on the government and the opposition in india the same political party treats these obligations very differently when it is in office and when it is out of it this has contributed greatly to the popular perception of our political system 
as being a moral my young friends the developmental challenges and socio political problems facing the country are immense it would be essential to evolve a national consensus on vital issues of national interest so that the concerted efforts of political parties the academia the educated and conscientious citizens and the system as a whole are used to build the india of our dreams all of you are at the threshold of plunging into one or other responsible job or for further studies the choices you make and your responses to the challenges and crises before the country will have their distinct impact on our country's future as you all will agree parliament remains the most pivotal institution in our democratic setup for translating the people's expectations into reality to make it effective a large number of committed and well meaning people need to take their place in politics the educated youth are the future of india and they will have to play a more active role in politics if they want our country to develop and take its rightful position among the committee of nations being a critical spectator is not going to solve the problems of the nation you must realize and accept the responsibility to free the people of the injustices in society to raise the quality of life of the weaker sections to reinvigorate the democratic values in our country to put an end to intolerance and divisive trends in our polity and to eliminate corrupt practices that are spreading as slow poison in our society as educated youth you are looked upon as the harbingers of the new era of democratic values and the torch bearers of a developed nation the time has come when you must offer your services to the nation my young friends as those who have been privileged to receive higher education in one of the prestigious institutions of this country you must always keep in mind the urges and aspirations and the demands and dreams of our common people we need young people with strong democratic commitment and determination to come together and strive for the development of the country before i conclude i once again congratulate all those who have successfully completed their courses of study and are receiving their degrees at this convocation you all know that learning is a lifelong process which does not end with the acquisition of any degree as you step out of the sheltered portals of your institution you will find a wholly new and exciting world of opportunities and learning i am sure that you will strive to realize not only your own dreams and aspirations in the years to come but will also help many others to realize their dreams as well i hope you will make productive use of the quality education you have received here for the furtherance of our democratic ideals for the larger national causes and to help realize the unfinished agenda before the nation once again i wish to convey my sincere gratitude to the respected chancellor the vice chancellor and the rest of the university community 
for giving me this opportunity of being with you i trust the acharya naga arjuna university will continue to produce committed responsible disciplined and socially sensitive students who will be invaluable assets of our country stop